Hello dear students, welcome to the ninth lecture of the final accounts of banking companies. This is the last lecture of your the final accounts of banking companies. In this lecture, we are going to discuss uh, the problems relating the provisions of non-performing assets. So how to arrange the provisions for the non-performing assets. So let us discuss what do you mean by this non-performing assets and the classification of the non-performing assets. So what is a non-performing asset? The non-performing assets means these are the assets which does not generate the income to the bank. The term is known as you are the non-performing assets. So as per the banking operation, after the expiry of the 90 days, every bank treat their assets are the non-performing assets. So that, that is the meaning of the non-performing assets. Suppose the bank is given loan to the customers. The customers are not repaying their loan within the stipulated period. And this loan can be treated as the non-performing assets. So that is the arrangement. So non-performing assets, so that is a NPA, the non-performing assets known as NPA is a loan or advances which the principal or the interest payment remain overdue. This is the remain overdue for a period of 90 days. The team is known as you are the non-performing assets. So normally we have already discussed the team. That is the bank loan. Loan could come bank expert in the loan me interest to get none. Then I'll ban bank go to the loan my bank interest to get to Nilia. Kit turn to interest to Morangi Pua. I'm gonna with the Nur the Usa the Morangi Gondrikian. Karna Kala with the Kaina Tunur the Usum interest to Morangi Gondrikian. I'm gonna with a ninety days in a say show interest to get to Nilingil. Adina bank and end their treaty in the two non performing assets I treaty in it. Sadiki. The chain is known as you are the non performing assets. And the non-performing assets are classified in different element. There is a standard assets, there is a substandard asset, there is a doubtful asset, there is a low assets. So these are the classifications regarding your the non-performing assets. And what is the standard asset? These are the assets which does not disclose any problem. Let me say for assets. Normally three uh, assets are the bank loan or the bank in a car does not carry more than normal risk. Normal risk is not a risk of a bank. That is a treaty and that is a standard asset which does not disclose any problems to the bank. That means does not carry more than normal risk. The term is known as you are the standard asset. And what is the substandard asset? It has been classified as a non-performing asset for the period not exceeding 12 months. That is not a loan repayment. Loan to the laundry repayment bank and a kittenilla. I'm going to eat Pandranda Masa Uruvarsham bank and a repayment bank and a repayment kitten the customers loan repayment in Arthonilla. Modangi Katakan and Gil Uruvarsh and Rulli were a modern girl than ever in the Parana substandard asset. It has been classified as not performing assets for a period not exceeding twelve months. Twelve months were a uh, installment of modern kata kaanang it adhanya classified as substandard kata standard ala substandard asset ana. ok and third one is a doubtful asset that means it has remained as a non-performing asset for the period of exceeding 12 months pandra uru varshadhanya sheshum again ningada repayment of modern kata bank and repayment kittu nilya loan kudutu repayment of pandra and maasatana kudu adhanya uru varshadhanya mele etum repayment of nadatthu nilingil bank and a treaty a doubtful asset ita it has remained as a non-performing asset for a period of exceeding 12 months. The term is known as you are the, the doubtful assets. And the last one is a loss asset. The loss asset means which has been identified by the bank or internal or external auditor. These are the loss assets. Nashtapidan asset at the bank. Internal auditor, external auditor, this is what we call nashtapidu. And the eighth third one is asset. Chala loan is called the bank. Low Saikaram, other really good chance answer. I'm going to put about issues some of the content of the loan will bank it is a lot of it. I'm going to be in a settle on a low asset. These are the classifications regarding the non performing assets. There is a standard asset and there is a substandard asset. There is doubtful assets and last one is a low asset. A standard asset means which does not disclose any problem to the bank. That is, the name is known as your standard asset. 
substandard means it has been classified as non performing asset for a period of not exceeding 12 months so that is a substandard asset that means your the period is very important that means the repayment is overdue for the period of 12 month one year our repayment overdue on that is a substandard asset doubtful means more than 12 months that means more than 12 month in session 12 months in session it then repeat you know that can be treated as doubtful assets and the last one is the loss asset these are the asset which has been identified as a loss by the internal or the external auditor the team is known as your the loss asset and we are discussing the provision adu kondu assets galku non performing assets inde or bank ada manasala ikane bank adine provisions maintain cheyum enginiyana non performing assets nu vendi provisions bank maintain cheyund let us discuss the provisions regarding the non performing assets so listen these are the provision ithatholam provisions and bank maintain cheya suppose substandard standard asset the bank is maintaining the provision is a 0.40 percentage listen the substandard category the bank is maintaining the provision is a 0.4 percentage suppose the substandard category standard aanengi 0.4 percentage aanu suppose substandard rendu category undayirikkum secured um unsecured aayirikkum selappu ningal eduthu parayum secured aanu selappu unsecured normally thannattil secured aayittu nammal assume cheyum unsecured aanu parna nammal angane treat cheyanam secured aanengil is a 15 percentage suppose substandard asset secured category aanengil the provision is 15 percentage and unsecured category the provision is just 20 percentage so 40.4 percentage for the standard asset and the substandard asset point 15 percentage secured category and unsecured category is 20 percentage and doubt plus the three classifications and another is unsecured but nokki kenal moonu period kaana sadikkum standard aanu but secured and like unsecured aadyam parantha secured aanu for secured for one years is a 25 percentage 1 to 3 years the provision is 40 percentage more than 3 years the bank is maintaining the 100 percent that is the arrangements of the doubt plus there are three important period for one year the provision is 25 1 to 3 years the provision is 40 percentage more than 3 years the provision is a 100 percent these are the important provisions regarding the doubt plus doubtful the assets and and one more is the unsecured suppose you are the doubt plus it's a unsecured category they specified that is unsecured the provision is 100 percentage that is a provision arrangement regarding the doubtful asset and the last one is loss assets loss asset is one of the important category regarding the non performing asset that means it has been identified as a loss by the internal or external auditor the team is known as the loss asset and what is the provision arrangement of the loss asset 100 percentage loss asset aa namaku thodi kanya 100 percentage bank endu cheyum provisions maintain cheyum and these are the provisions regarding the non performing assets so once again suppose the asset is a stand, standard category of asset the provision is 0.4 percentage and the substandard category that's a provision is 15 percentage for the secured and the unsecured is a 20 percentage and the doubtful assets for one year it is 25 percentage one to three years this provision is 40 percentage more than 3 years the provision is the 100% suppose your doubt plus unsecured category the provision is a 100% okay these are provision arrangements regarding the doubtful assets the last one is loss assets a loss asset the provision is a 100% 100% provisions bank maintain cheyum namukku ariya provisions contingency evide treat cheya nammada profit and loss account la ana provisions adin treat cheya evide provisions and contingency then avada pinna treat cheyum balance sheet le other liabilities nu kanikkum venam appo non performing asset na provisions undu nu parna provisions calculate sadhana problem thile vedi nammal arinjirikkanu problem side le sa means namaku directly choyikkile namaku idra provisions arinjirikkanu adondu namaku or problem thodu discuss cheyanadu koodala sadhikkum appo provisions undengil provisions nammal kanikka provisions and contingency non performing assets inde provisions kanikkanadu profit loss account la namaku ariyam provision contingency nu kanikkanam simultaneously evada kanikkanam current liabilities le other liabilities some current liabilities sorry other liabilities side namu kanikkum cheyum and these are arrangements regarding the non performing as as for the final accounts let us discuss one question and this is a question from the following information find out the amount of provision shown in the profit loss account of the commercial bank the amounts are in lakhs one question is asked adingal eduthe provision etra varu പ്രൊവിഷൻസ് നമ്മൾ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ലോസ് അക്കൗണ്ട് എത്ര ട്രീറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു നമ്മൾ കണ്ടുപി
So these are the assets classification. The assets, standard assets, the amount is 8,000 lakhs. These are lakhs. It's an 8,000. Substandards, 6,000 lakhs. There's an e, this is 6,000. It's not a figure 6,000. This is 6,000 lakhs. The doubt plus, there's three classification. For one year, 1,000. For three years, 1,300. More than three years, the 400. A lowest asset is amount is 1,200. That is a classification of asset. So you are, you are required to find out the amount of the provision shown in the profit and loss account. You show you three amount of provisions are not aware. There is classification. There is just assets, standard, substandard, doubtful, and the lowest asset. So you must familiar this provision. Apart from any provisions in the person, they are not aware. That is pure. We are not aware of concept. Provisions can't be given. Apart from provision, the person is. Suppose standard asset. What is the provisions for standard asset? It's a 0.4 percentage that's a provision for the standard asset suppose substandard substandard secured category and unsecured appa secured normally thanna the secured aayta assume cheyum unsecured nu parnya mathra unsecured nu kurichi chindichadi so there is a secured so 15 percentage secured is a 15 percentage and doubtful assets normally there is unsecured aanu parnal mathra unsecured nu kurichi chindichadi appa normally namak unsecured secured category aanu unsecured nu parnal 100 percentage aanu so for one years, for one year, twenty five percent is for three years, one to three years, so forty percent, then forty percent is more than three years, so it is hundred percent. This is hundred percent is a lowest asset. What is the lowest asset? Hundred percent. There is a provision arrangement. This is a provision. For a asset, ne itra provision samle maati bechi ri kena. Apna mera manasila provision ani figures na or mailu vendar. The standard asset is an eight thousand. The provision is point four percent is. And substandard is 6,000. So normally secured category is a 15 percentage. And doubt plus it for one year, that is a 20, 25 percentage. For three years, it is a 40 percentage. And the more than three years, the provision is a 100 percentage. And unsecured is 100 percentage. Suppose loss asset, the provision is a 100 percentage. So find out the provisions. As a provision, so first you write the assets. There is a standard, substandard, doubtful, doubtful three category for one year, three years, and more than three years. Okay, and there is a loss asset. And write the amounts. Standard asset, there is eight thousand. The substandard asset, the amount six thousand. Doubtful for the one year, the amount is one thousand. For three years, the amount is one thousand six hundred. For more than three years, the amount is four hundred. And loss asset, the amount is one thousand two hundred. There is a one thousand two hundred. Okay, these are the amounts also given in the questions. So that is the logic. The first you write the assets and write the amount. These amounts are in lakhs. All the amounts are in the lakhs. So these are the amounts in lakhs. And find out the provisions. So already familiar the provision. Standard asset, what is the provision? 0.4 percentage. And substandard asset, 6,000. So provision is a 15 percentage. There's a 15 percentage of provision. Then doubtful for the one years. For the one years, 25 percentage. Okay, then three years, three years, that is 40 percentage. Okay, then more than three years, the more than three years is 100 percentage. Okay, and the last one is a loss asset. Loss asset, the provision is a 100 percentage. So that is provision. The find out the provision amount. For Percentage of provisions. That is one of the third step. So, we will see the provisions the amount and correspond to the identity. This is all the money. We will see the money. By heart, this is the money. Okay. Then, after that, find out the percentage of amount. So, 8,000.4 percentage. That means 32. 32 lakhs. Then, 6,000. 15 percentage. That is 900 lakhs. And 100. 25 percentage. That is 250. 250 lakhs and 1640 percentage that is 640 lakhs 400 hunter percentage is a 400 lakhs then 1200 hunter percentage 1200 lakhs so these are the provision amount these are the percentage of the provisions the already given already given the statute so already specified in the statute these are the statute and these are the amount based on the amount these are the uh, provision amount based on the total amount. This is the total amount. That is the provision percentage wise amount. And take the total. This is the total. This is 3422. 3422 lakh. That is the total provisions maintained by the 
ബാങ്ക് ആൻഡ് ദിസ് ദ പ്രൊവിഷണർ ഇങ്ങനെയാണ് പ്രൊവിഷൻസ് കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ഈ പ്രൊവിഷണർ എവിടെ കാണിക്കുക ദിസ് പ്രൊവിഷൻ ഇസ് ഷോൺ ഓൺ ദ പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ലോസ് അക്കൗണ്ട് ദസ് മീൻസ് പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ലോസ് അക്കൗണ്ട് പ്രൊവിഷൻസ് ഇൻ കണ്ടീജൻസ് ദ എമൗണ്ട് ഇസ് ത്രീ ഫോർ ഡബിൾ ടു ദിസ് എമൗണ്ട് നമ്മൾ ഇവിടെ കാണിക്കും പ്രോഫിറ്റ് ലോസ് അക്കൗണ്ട് കൊണ്ട് കാണിക്കും ഓക്കെ ദറ്റ് ഇസ് അറേഞ്ച്മെന്റ് ഫോർ ദ കാൽക്കുലേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ പ്രൊവിഷൻ provisions for the non performing assets so let me conclude the first we discuss what you mean by the team is non performing assets the non performing asset means these are asset which does not generate the income to the bank the team is known as your the non performing assets and these are the different categories of the non performing assets there is a standard there is a substandard there is a doubtful the last one is a loss asset okay and these are the provisions regarding the non performing assets suppose standard category is 0.4 percentage substandard suppose secured 15 percentage unsecured 20 percentage doubtful for 1 to 3 years sorry for the 1 year 25 percentage 1 to 3 years the 40 percentage more than 3 years 100 percentage suppose unsecured category the provision is a 100 percentage okay the loss asset the provision is a 100 percentage and this is a question find out the provisions regarding your the assets and these are the assets standard substandard doubtful and the loss asset standard 8000 substandard 6000 doubt for one year for three years for more than three years these are the amount required for the doubt plus and loss asset it is a amount is 1200 that's a loss asset and how to calculate the provisions the provision point of first you write the assets and write your amount and find the percentage of provision standard 0.4 percentage substandard 15 percentage for one year 25 3 years 40 and more than 3 years 100 that is a doubtful assets loss assets the provision is 100 percentage okay so then take the amount and calculate the amount based on the percentage and these are the amount and take the total the total is 3422 that is a total provisions regarding your the non performing assets this amount shown on the provisions and contingency and the head of the profit and loss account okay and these are the important calculations regarding you are the non performing assets anyway thank you thank you so much and thank you for watching me